it's Miss Frankie and today we are going to make a moon and to make this moon we are going to need some paper if you guys have bigger butcher paper it's so much better but I don't so I will be taping these pieces of paper together and you'll see how um, you can also use a piece of cardboard but I also didn't have that but that would be a good idea too. You're going to need some paint and I'm going to need the tape to tape my uh, pieces of paper together, okay? Okay friends, so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to tape my pieces of paper together. So I'm gonna start by taping my pieces together. Now I have all my pieces taped together and I made one big piece. And here, friends, is where I am going to draw my moon. So, Rubies, if you notice, I am using three pieces of black and one blue. I didn't have an extra black one, so I went with the next darker color, which is blue. Um, the second thing I'm going to do is I am going to go in with white paint and I'm going to paint a circle to make a moon. Your circle doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so next friends, what I'm going to do is I am going to paint the inside of this circle. Now I'm painting it with white, as you can tell, just because you can see um, white better with the black paper and the dark blue. Okay friends, so for this part, I'm going to make sure that there is enough paint on the inside of the circle because later on in the video, we are going to be throwing balls at the moon and it is going to make some craters on it. Those dents on the moon are called craters. Friends, if you notice, I am using black paper, which is why I chose white paint. But if you guys are using white paper or any other colored paper or cardboard, you guys can also use white or you can even make your own paint. So if you notice, the moon can also be the color gray. What two colors do you guys think we can use to make gray? Yep, that's right. We need white and we also need a little bit of black to make the color gray. And you guys can also use that to make your moon. Okay, Ruby, so for um, the second part of the video, we are going to need some balls. And what we are going to do is we are going to paste our moon somewhere and we're going to throw these balls at it to make craters and craters are the little holes that are on the moon if you look at it closely okay friends so for this part if you notice I went ahead and I um, taped my moon onto a wall and I am going to be throwing balls at the moon Okay, Rubies, I would also like to mention that I would do this part outside just because when you throw the ball at the moon, it might splat the paint. Also, I want to say that you guys can throw the ball as many times as you want to make as many craters as you guys would like. And you guys can use different size balls as well. Okay, friends, so I noticed that my balls were not heavy enough to make craters on my moon. So what I am going to do instead is I'm gonna grab my ball and just stamp it on the moon like that. And if I rub my ball just like that, you see the craters are beginning to make. And then you can just make it, you can just stamp the ball all over your moon and you can make the craters. So friends, I hope you guys enjoy doing this at home and make a moon full of craters. Enjoy! 